Hello everybody, today I want to show you how you integrate Animate Diff into IP Adapter version 2 or plus. I want to create a basic workflow with two source images and a simple Animate Diff implementation. No complex nodes, you see the result here. Simple, slightly moving robot girl and dystopian backdrop. Let's begin. I want to create a simple basic IP adapter workflow and then integrate the animate diff nodes into it. All the needed custom nodes and models you can find in the description below. The installation of IP adapter can also be found in my videos. I will put a link in the description as well. Let's start from scratch. Okay, first create a simple checkpoint loader. Standard checkpoint loader as we used in the tutorials before. I choose the IP adapter advanced node. We connect the model to the model port. We need some prompt nodes. We can copy and paste this for the negative prompt. Then we need to load our IP adapter model. I choose the plus model here. All the models and how you install IP adapter version 2 or plus you can find in my videos. All the models are linked below. Then we need to load our clip vision. We use the H clip vision. Okay, then we need our two images. I use two images in this example. I use the IP adapter uh, to transfer the styles of those two images and mix them together and use this as a base for our animation. Uh, load image node and copy and paste this to have a second one. I choose this girl image this image of a young girl and this robot as the source images. We now have to create a batch from those images. And after the batch images node, I want to prepare image for clip vision. So I load the prep image for clip vision node. Put this into the image port. We now can fill everything into our case sampler. Positive prompt, negative prompt. As a positive prompt, I use a beautiful robot girl standing in dystopian cityscape and as negative blurry horror naked dark text. Maybe let's add watermark. We need an empty latent image. I choose those values for now, 512 to 512, since we are using the standard 1.5 SD model. We need to decode our latent. Let's connect the VAE. And we need to save our image. That should be it for the standard IP adapter workflow with two images. Let's give it a try. Here we go. I like the result. It's a nice mix of both images, a little bit dreamy. So now let's integrate our animate diff. I use the Animate Diff Evolved package. I will link it down in the description below. There is also a standard animate diff package but here we are using the evolve package which gives us a little bit more control over everything so the place we have to put our animate diff is between the checkpoint loader and the ip adapter so let's make some space here double click on the background animate diff
loader. So let's get this one. Let's connect the model. Let's connect the model output to IP adapter. I choose the version 3 model here and the beta schedule I put to square root linear animative. Let's change the K sampler values a little bit, put the steps to 25 and the CFG to 5. The sampler name we choose the DDMPP2MSDE GPU and scheduler to exponential since we want to output a video we choose the video combine node from the vhs package link in the description we can delete the normal save image we don't want to give as an output we choose the h264 and for now we keep those settings very important is that you increase the batch size in the empty latent image node so we put in 16 here that should give us some results already so let's give it a go here we go we now have an uh, animation, a mix of both of the image styles and a nice slow moving fog in the background, slightly moving hair. And yeah, that's all I wanted. So this is the way how you can integrate Animate Diff into IP Adapter version 2 or plus. This is also a simple way to make image to video, which I was asked how to do this with Animate Diff. I hope I could help you with this video. Find everything uh, in the description below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.